Okay, we're going to assume that we have a set of data already entered into Excel. So you can see that here in the first column. This represents the 20 data points that you might have for, say, dropping a ball a certain distance off the ground. In order to create a histogram, we need to define the bins, which is going to be the range or the limits of the data we want to count in each uh, section, in each bin of the histogram. So we're going to label these uh, in a column. We'll call that column bins. And in the instructions, you're told to use uh, starting at 0.3 seconds and to go up in steps of 0.02. So the next bin edge would be at 0.32. Excel has a fairly nice feature that if you select these two values, uh, grab the, the handle on the bottom right here, you can notice that your uh, cursor turned into a dark cross instead of a hollow cross. Drag that dark cross down, and you'll also see which number it's calculating. So it automatically goes up in steps of 0 0.02. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that up to up to 0 0.5. That can create a reasonable range. We don't want too many bins, right? You certainly don't want more bins than you have data. So it's important to keep an eye on having a reasonable number of bins. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll ask Excel to count the number of times the data value falls within each bin. So next to the bin column, we want to create a frequency column. So go ahead and label that frequency. Uh, and then highlight the whole region of that column that's next to your bins column. So for each bin, we're going to want Excel to calculate a frequency for us. So it's important to highlight that whole region. And then instead of clicking in that top cell, since that loses your selection, highlight that and click in your uh, function uh, toolbar, the formula bar, and start typing equals frequency and it can be uh, capital or lowercase. As soon as you hit the open parenthesis, it'll show you what you need to type in next. You need to select your data array. So we'll select the data column, and that uh, shows up like that. And then we need a comma and our bins array. So type in the comma, then select the bins array. Okay, so we're all set, except we need to close that parenthesis in the formula bar. So make sure that for formula looks correct. And then it's tempting to type enter. Don't hit enter because that will actually just give you a single value. I'll go ahead and do it as a demonstration. I hit enter and it only gave me that single cell. Instead, we want to select the, the region and the frequency columns, the column that we want to fill up. Go to the formula bar. I haven't changed the formula, but we hit control, shift, enter. And that will actually fill in the frequency column. It'll fill in every cell in the frequency column with the appropriate value based on the bin next to it. So at that point, you have the data you need in order to create a histogram because the frequency is the vertical data and the bin is the horizontal data. The bin value is the horizontal data. So uh, I'll, I'll demonstrate how to do this uh, in the most straightforward way is to select just the frequency data, uh, insert a chart, go to the charts, Pull this down, choose a um, clustered column. That's not quite showing up uh, in there, uh, in your uh, view. Well, let me move this over a second. So choose this clustered column data uh, chart type. And then uh, let's move that over so we can see it and our data at the same time. And you'll notice the, the X labels are not correct. They're not what we want. So control click on the data area, uh, sorry, on the axis. Control click on the horizontal axis. Uh, again, this is not showing up for you. Here we go. Let's go control click on the axis and select format axis. Sorry, that's not what we want. Here we go. I remember now. Control click on the select data. So control click and select data. Uh, and the data window should pop up like this. And instead of the uh, just the Y values, we want to put in the category or X axis labels. So click that uh, cell and then highlight your, uh, your bins. Those uh, bins will be the values we want to show up as the X labels. So now we see those show up as the X labels. We want to do a couple other things. Control click on the data bar, format the data series so that it does not have a fill. So no fill. You're just wasting ink at that point. Um, and you want to make it so the line, instead of being automatic, is actually black so that we can see it. So change those two settings. Uh, you can delete the series since we only have one data series. 
And it's probably a little distracting to have these grid lines. So let's format the grid lines. Again, I clicked on a grid line, right, uh, right click or control click, format grid lines, um, no line. If you do want the line, you can have it be there, but very, very light. So if you want a gray line that has maybe a, a lot of transparency, that, that makes it fade away a lot better. So now you can start to see these. Uh, and finally, we do want to make these bars really wide. So uh, format the data series. Uh, I guess one more time we, we've been to this. So up in the options, turn this gap width to 0%. You don't want any gap between those. In a histogram, because it represents all of your data. So the data should be continuous, right? The histogram says this is the number of counts that we got between 0.36 and 0.38, and that's plotted above the 0.36 section. Uh, so that will be how to create a histogram. And of course you want to uh, label with a chart title, label your axes, all that good stuff. But you should have a good set of uh, skills for histogram making at this point.